Jesse and JD presents a Terry Talk. Terry Cahill. Terry! Hello, good morning. Is this the Duke of Ogden? It sure is. I'm looking over the beautiful landscape as we speak. Now, Terry, outside of putting a burn barrel in your living room uh, and cooking with a can of Pilsner in the crock pot, can you offer any other uh, insider tips on on how we deal with this kind of cold? Because it doesn't get this cold for this long very often. Yeah, exactly. Like that's the you, you're 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 leading the cart with the horse there. Like the attitude's important. Like to know, you know, think of a roasting hot day in August with no AC and be like, oh yeah, okay, maybe this ain't so bad. Like you know, it's a mental game. You don't want to get those numbers in your head. Like people who <clears throat> study the weather, they're like, oh, it's actually equivalent to minus sixty five, but you minus the three to carry the one and all that to try to figure out the actual. You don't even need to know. Like you don't want to know. Just go out there and give her. And like one tip I have for sure is it's like relativity. You know, so like when you go start your car don't even put your socks and boots on just go start it barefoot then when you go out with your socks and boots you're like oh this ain't bad at all <laughs> oh okay. so get like, even more cold and then you warm up and it doesn't seem as bad exactly it's like it's relativity i think because that's what einstein like you just gotta r- r- change your mindset your brain and be like oh i don't even know what temperature it is and then you won't know and you don't care now, if you're indoors, Terry, because a lot of people aren't able to work if they work outside, uh, any suggestions on what you can do indoors in Calgary when the weather is this bad uh, to stay warm inside? Oh, well, you know what? It's like my, you know, this is a time of year, like, you got to kind of think like a bear, you know? you got to be like, well, I'm stuck inside. And, and you know, just like your house, you got to keep your furnace going, right? So this is when you just, like, make double, triple, quad burgers with bacon and just load up the gut there so that you, when you do have to go outside, you got lots of energy there. So it's kind of like a, I try to like cook grease basically. And as far as like, you know, any side hustles this time of year, I would imagine there's probably some money making opportunities too, gentlemen. You know, if anybody happens to not be able to work because it is so cold, there are other ways to make money. I mean, you could just, I mean, you could be shoveling walks, you could be scraping windows if you wanted to, you could be picking up Christmas trees, anything like that, right there? Yeah, no, like you're, 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 it's like you're in my head there. That's exactly right. Like if you're out there traveling and you you know, you could not, exactly what you just said. Knock on the door, be like, "I'm already out here, bud." Like, throw me a fiver, and I'll, I'll de-ice your whole lawn. <laughs> And Terry, you know, I understand that you got some uh, some money making things on the side right now too. If people aren't working and they want to hunker down inside, uh, maybe they can pull out the brand new food bar app. Yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up, but I, I would have forgotten. But yeah, it's so sweet. It's just a game where you kind of like can give her on your phone, and it's free to download, and it's actually pretty fun. And and uh, all the characters from the movies are there, and it's uh, you know, you, you, yeah, you got little businesses going like collecting cans and and like giving people tattoos and fixing ten speeds. So yeah, it it. it it's a good, great way to like kill a few hours. That's a fact for sure. It's and it's got good tunes, and I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Like these things aren't that easy to make, and the guys who made ours, they they put like a year of develop like research and development and all that stuff into it. What kind of research goes into watching Terry for a year? Oh well, they could they had a hard time keeping up. Like most nights, they're like, "We'll come back tomorrow" because I was just getting trashed, and they're like, "We can't keep up with this wild animal." And then they they come back in the morning, and sometimes I'd be in the same state, and they're like, "Holy!" I, now I I hate to ask uh, because yeah. the air is so dry, right, that it's uh-huh. causing a, a lot of people to have to... Uh, yeah, I'm, con- I'm doing it too. Continually clear the gribblies out, uh, but we've never needed an uh, more because uh, we need to wake up the penguins who aren't even able to do the penguin walk over at the Calgary Zoo, so if, if you could be so kind, that uh, would be huge okay, right gotta, now, Tara. I gotta <clears throat> clear up my gribblies, as you said, like, just a pro tip there, keep the, a pot of water on the, on the stove there all the time, just look at low keep the humidity up but here we go so this is for the penguins and everyone who's too scared to get out there Ow! give her the duke of ogden ladies and gentlemen thank you terry cahill oh my pleasure you guys stay stay toasty give her <laughs>